I've already gone into my pricing by selecting my pricing and clicking edit and I've come to this screen and now I'm going to give you an overall view of where things are changed in the pricing. Now this happened to be my oak pricing that I had selected and I'm going to go to general and general setup and you'll notice that there's a material name for the price list here and it says red oak I could change it to any name but if this were my cherry I'd call it cherry in this case it's oak so I'm going to call it oak. Now KCDW gives you the opportunity to price different ways. One method is by price on the material and labor or by the foot cost, lineal, square, or cubic. So you select one or the other. By selecting one or the other, this will change the questions within this list here of the actual what are you doing as far as the cost per foot and what's your labor cost or in the case of picking a lineal or square foot or cubic foot cost, it will give you questions such as those. Now, once we've selected the method we want to use, we then would go to cabinets and we'd go to cabinet setup. And we could tell it cabinet price method, we could select the one we wanted. For example, I want to do square foot here. There's additional charges, which at this point I wouldn't worry about, but you will want to come back and set these up for possibly shelves or finished interiors, finished sides, things of that nature. Now, as we come up to cabinets, there's all these different areas that you can set things up and they're just classifying things differently so we can price things more or less based on the type of item it is. In this case, you have base cabinets and you'll notice where it says standard base, cost per foot. Well, this is just going to take the square footage cost, which we told it to do, and multiply it by $150. KCDW will figure in the doors and the drawers and the countertops. All that's going to be done somewhere else. So this cost needs to be just the cabinet, nothing else. We break down a lot of different units for bases in here so you can charge more or less based on the type of item it is. For example, a base angle then you'd probably charge more for per foot. We also have, like I said, these other sections such as wall cabinets, tall, miscellaneous will bring you into all these other things that KCDW has. You'd want to come up to doors and set up your doors possibly square doors, arch, all the different door styles that you might build with. Now, once you come through and set the prices for the doors you build with, you don't have to worry about it anymore. This is for your oak pricing and you're done. Now, this particular square foot cost for the raised panel door, it's saying charging $10 a square foot for the raised panel door, and it's going to add $15 per door. You could set this to zero and it wouldn't add anything. Or I could set this price up here to zero and it would just charge $15 for a fixed cost. So once again, set what you do up. Don't worry about the things you don't do. Now, we can also go to molding and go to our molding setup and we'll find crown molding, all the different moldings. Go to the ones you do. Come through, set the prices that you do. These are lineal foot costs. KCDW factors in for waste whenever there's a miter. So keep that in mind. And when we also come over here to instructions, we have all sorts of details once again that will tell us what to do and if we follow the instructions we should be pretty fine and, and everything should work perfectly now if we go to general you'll notice that we have a drawer setup section right in here and we have a panel setup section which will let you do your square raised panels uh, paneled walls beadboard things of that nature and we also have a section in here for additional charges, such as tax and installation. You click on it and it says, do you charge tax on your cabinets? Well, if you say yes, it's going to say how much and what is your sales tax? Type in whatever you want. So once again, answer these questions. If it doesn't pertain to you, ignore it. Now, what you're going to find is in KCDW, this is easy to set up, but what you want to do is a little bit at a time. Set up a couple of things, test it and go from there.